Hey everyone, welcome back to DSP Lectures. In this video, we will solve two questions based on what we have studied so far. The questions will be based on block diagram representation of discrete time systems. So, let's start our lecture. We are given with the block diagram of a discrete time system and we need to find the relationship between x of n and y of n in it. The theory for this question was discussed in lecture 3 of our DSP playlist and if you have any doubts, please refresh those topics again. Also, the link to that video is available in the descriptions below. Ok, coming back to the question. First, we have an adder circuit and we do not know the input at this end. So, let us assume that the signal here is V of n. Then, the signal here will be D1 into V of n as this is a multiplier with scalar D1. Next, we have a unit delay operator here whose input is D1 into V of n. So, the output of this unit delay operator will be D1 into V of n minus 1 and this is fed to a scalar multiplier with scalar minus 1. So, the output at this n will be minus d1 into v of n minus 1. Now, this minus d1 into v of n minus 1 and x of n gets added up in this adder circuit to get v of n. So, the relation is v of n equal to x of n plus minus d1 into v of n minus 1. Let us name it as equation number 1. Now coming to this adder circuit, the input at this end is v of n minus 1 due to this unit delay and the input at this end is d1 into v of n. Ok. So the output y of n will be y of n equal to v of n minus 1 plus d1 into v of n. Let us name it as equation number 2. Now, substituting equation 1 in equation 2 gives us equation 1 in equation 2 gives us y of n equal to v of n minus 1 plus d1 into x of n minus d1 into v of n minus 1 and this is equal to d1 into x of n plus 1 minus d1 square into v of n minus 1 and let us name it as equation number 3. Now we are able to get a relation between y of n and x of n but we also have a v of n minus 1 in this equation. We need to get rid of this. For that, let us delay entire equation 1 by 1 unit. Therefore, in equation 1, we will replace n with n minus 1, which gives us v of n minus 1 equal to x of n minus 1 minus d1 into v of n minus 2. Substituting this equation, equation 3 gives us y of n equal to d1 into x of n plus 1 minus d1 square into x of n minus 1 minus d1 into v of n minus 2 or this is equal to d1 into x of n plus 1 minus d1 square into x of n minus d1 into 1 minus d1 square into v of n minus 2. Let us name it as equation number 4. Ok, now also we have a term of v in our equation. We need to get rid of this. Here the coefficient is minus d1 into 1 minus d1 square. Now, if you see here, here also we have 1 minus d1 square as coefficient. But we have v of n minus 1. But if we delay this entire equation by 1 unit, we will get v of n minus 2 here. 
so let's do that so delaying entire equation 3 by 1 unit we get y of n minus 1 equal to d1 into x of n minus 1 plus 1 minus d1 square into v of n minus 2 okay but here we also have a d1 term as coefficient let us try to bring that here also so let us multiply this entire equation by d1 which gives us d1 into y of n minus 1 equal to d1 square into x of n minus 1 plus d1 into 1 minus d1 square into v of n minus 2 let us name it as equation number 5 if you see in this equation we have one term of v which is d1 into 1 minus d1 square into v of n minus 2 in equation 4 also we have one term of v which is minus d1 into 1 minus d1 square into v of n minus 2 so if we add equation 4 and equation 5 these two terms will cancel out so let us do that equation 4 plus equation 5 gives us y of n plus d1 into y of n minus 1 equal to d1 into x of n plus 1 minus d1 square into x of n plus d1 square into x of n minus 1 now if you see this equation it is written only in terms of y and x so we have accomplished our goal of developing a relationship between y of n and x of n now just for aesthetic purposes let me rephrase it like y of n equal to d1 into x of n plus x of n minus 1 um, I think I made a mistake somewhere um, yeah it is here this is actually x of n minus 1 so this term will be x of n minus 1 so it will be x of n minus 1 here minus d1 into y of n minus 1 so this is our final relation between y of n and x of n for the given system I understand that we did a lot of equation manipulation to get here and it is not an easy process also but this is the only way so what I suggest you to do is practice a lot of questions like this and bit by bit you will master these kind of questions okay now let's move to the second question here we are given with a relation between input and output and we have to develop a block diagram for the discrete time system from this relation this is actually a very simple exercise all you have to do is build block diagram for each of these terms and then add them together using an adder circuit so let's create a signal path for x of n and a signal path for y of n now let's draw the block diagram for the first term which is d1 into x of n so we will add a multiplier with scalar d1 and the output will be d1 into x of n the next term is x of n minus 1 so we need a unit delay for that let's take a pick of node from here and then feed it into a unit delay like this so the output will be x of n minus 1 the last term is minus d1 into y of n minus 1 for this we will need a multiplier with scalar minus d1 and a unit delay so take a pick of node from here and then feed it into a unit delay the output will be y of n minus 1 this is then fed to a multiplier whose scalar is minus d1 and the output here will be minus d1 into y of n minus 1 ok so we implemented all the individual terms of this equation using block diagram now all we need to do is add them all together using an adder circuit so we will draw an adder circuit in the middle 
and provide all this as input to the adder circuit like this okay the output of this adder circuit will be y of n so this is one of the possible block diagram representation for the relation in question another possible way is this yeah for those who didn't notice the equation in our second question was same as the answer for our first question okay i hope that all the concepts that were taught in this video are clear to all of you if you have any doubts feel free to ask them in the comments either we or some other viewer will surely help you out if you found this lecture useful please like the video and support us by subscribing to the channel in the next video we will see more solved examples thank you for watching properly and have a great day